technical stuff on this now, look at that. <laughs> Excuse me, what? What was that? Cold on. Um, just thought I'd do a quick vlog. And also, yeah, he's still here. He's still about. Hey, get off. Um, I posted a video, one of my last videos, a holiday on the buses. Um, I had it on one of my other channels. Well, it's locations, sorry. That's too bright. It's a bit gluey and that's a bit... Um, yeah, holiday on the buses, the locations, um, filmed in, uh, well, Ridland Bypass between St. Asaph and Ridland and Rail. Um, that's the ones I've used, they did use Prostatin and all that. <laughs> but uh, it just reminded me, um, just to, to do a vlog, and also people that, obviously, you know, you, you, you're not from around here, North Wales, you don't know the area, and you watch the film, you think, oh, this and that, you know. But it's all to fucking cock. They're all good, they're good in the wrong way. <laughs> um, the heading, you got, the f oh, Arthur, I just think of his name, Arthur and Olive, and, and, the, and Mum, and what's the fucking little kid called? Anyway, first scene I shot. They're coming from Ridland to St. Asaph and they're supposed to be heading towards Prostatin, which is completely the opposite way. Anyway, they go around the corner and yeah, down the road. And then they come line to line with um, Stan on the bus. And that's about a mile down the back from where they've come from, if you know what I mean. It's all to fucking cock. <laughs> and even the bus is going the wrong way. I know it's a film, it's a film, I know. <laughs> but um, it's all to fucking cock. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's one of the, you know, one of the, the old classic, very dated comedy now, isn't it? You know, to, compared to the you know, comments 1973, wasn't it? I suppose in its time, you know, it was funny and that was a classic, but it's, it's a bit dated now. But uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say. I had it on my other channel, but I had the the full intro and all this and that, so I just edit it, edit it out. I, I I took it off my channel. I don't know why. I can't remember now why I deleted it. That's going back a couple of years now. Um, and then just decided to, I dug it out. I, I didn't know that I still had it. Um, dug it out and edited a bit, and I thought, fuck it, I'll put it back out on my YouTube channel, on this channel, WXPM. I did have it on G22 Productions. Bit of a full length and all that. But, um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, it's one of these old classics, um, which reminded me, to, well, not reminded me, sort of inspired me to do a, a bit of a vlog. Talking of the classic films. You see that? It looks like there's fuck all in it. Um, Oh, that's Carlsberg, by the way. Not that you're fucking interested, are you? <laughs> Let's see if you're still watching this shite. Um, yeah, um, the old classic films I started watching on, on YouTube then, and then and then it got me thinking um, about the very first Super 8 film that I bought. Um, got the projector. Got my camera, I had a couple of cameras, silent and sound. Um, and um, you, you could get Super 8 films of whatever, you know, all edited down to 10 minutes. They were about 8, 9, or no more than 10 minutes on a 200 foot reel. You could get 400 footers, but they were very expensive. I had a 400 foot of Carry On Don't Lose Your Head and I had the Vampire Bat that was six 400 foot reels that one that was the longest film was it the longest? yeah it was the longest film and it's on YouTube just key in the Vampire Bat it's it's an old 
black and white, it's about 19 fucking 20s or 30s or something. But it's that genre, you know, it's got um, Dwight Fry is in it. Um, Herman, I think he plays Herman. And Dwight Fry played, oh, what the fuck was he called in it, in Frankenstein? God, I can't think now. He was the, the assistant to Fritz. That's it, yeah, fucking hell, it's coming back now. Fritz in that. Um, he was the assistant to Dr. Frankenstein. And that was the very first... No, I tell a lie. That's the second film that I bought. The very first one was Savage Justice, it was called. And it was an extract of The Witchfinder General. Classic film. If you haven't seen it, watch it. The Witchfinder General. Based on true facts. Um, Watch it anyway. It's on. It's on YouTube. I don't sure we have to fucking pay for it. You have to, you know. But you, the, you, there's extracts and this and that. Um, but uh, and yeah, the very first film. I can't remember how much I paid for it. Um, it must have been about ten quid, something like that. Perhaps a bit more. Perhaps twelve. I think something like that. Vincent Price, and it included the scene at the end. You're a bit squeamish, then don't watch it. Unless you want to see someone getting hacked to bits with an axe. That's the old classic. Um, shit, I've just fucking spoiled it if you haven't seen it. <laughs> shit. If you want to see uh, someone getting chopped with it with an axe, um, it included that. It was a 10 minutes, no more, like I say, that was a 200 footer. And Frankenstein was the second one. I bought and that had um, Dwight Fry, he was the assistant, um, Fritz, and it's funny and I've said it before, um, to show someone, you know, the monster Frankenstein, or the monster, show them that, you know, the, the Boris Karloff with the bolts and what have you, and say what's the first, you know, who, who's that, and they'll say oh it's Frankenstein, but it's not, the monster is that Frankenstein was the doctor who created the monster. It was just the monster. But everyone, whoever sees the monster, will say, oh, that's... Who? If you say to them, who's that? They'll say, oh, that's Frankenstein. And it's not. It's uh, the monster. Frankenstein was the doctor who created the monster. Anyway, enough of this fucking bollocks. So, yeah, I just thought I would uh, just have a bit of a chin rug. Um... And I'm off to Rill tomorrow. Uh, I've got to go pop into Rill. Uh, but uh, which, what, what, you know, which was filmed. A couple of locations in Rill. Holiday on the buses. The Vorid Bridge. The Blue Bridge. Going down the centre. It's all pedestrianised now. Centre of Rill. And of course, Ridlin. Um, the bridge. Um, and actually, when I filmed it, there's two-way traffic on it, but it's, it's, it's only single traffic now. The film that, you know, the then and nows, so, so to speak, the now is, it's got to be a couple of years old, a few years old actually. But anyway, it gives you an idea of then and now, 1973. Um, old Reg Verney. Like I say, very dated comedy. Um... I think the film's got fucking one stars and this and that. They've just got no reviews at all. But, you know, fucking hell. It's the type of film. Open up a can of beer, cold one, and have a laugh in it. You know, they don't take it too seriously. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I would dig it out, like I said, and, you know, edit it. Um, but, uh, yeah. The very first film, Savage Justice. Which find the general... If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's a good film. Not sure how long it's on for. Um, but it's based on, like, true facts. There was a witch finder general who used to get paid to find witches. Um, they used to lower them. And also, there's a, there's a few videos on YouTube about locations where that was filmed then and now. Um, but the things they used to do... Um, they used to lower them off a bridge... 
um, on ropes. I think they, they, they used to put weights on them with rocks or something and then they'd go under the water. And if they drowned, then they were innocent. But if they floated to the top, then they were, they were witches and guilty of witchcraft and all that. And they were hung from the fucking tree. So either way, you're fucked. <laughs> you had no chance. And that's how this witch finder general, that's how he made his money. But uh, yeah, it's a very uh, horrific ending. Um, in there. I'm not sure when that film was made. Must be the bloody hell, late, I think it's the late 70s. Must be. Or early, perhaps very early 80s, but late 70s, I would have thought. Vincent Price. And of course, Boris Karloff was the monster. He used to stand upright, like on like a tilted board. I used to do the makeup. It used to be about, if I can remember right now, I used to look these things up. Something like seven hours doing, you know, the Frankenstein. Oh, I shouldn't say that. The monster. Um, but, you know, we all sort of say, well, who's that? Frankenstein, you know, but it's not. That's the monster. Frankenstein was the doctor. But, uh, yeah, that Dwight Fry, he was Fritz in Frankenstein and Herman in the vampire bat um, and that's that's the longest film that I had on Super 8 there were three 400 foot reels sold everything everything like projectors reels films everything the only thing that I didn't sell and that I've still got to this date and I have got a video on it is my splicer I used to join, I used to edit my own films and join the Super 8 together by cement. I did have a tape one, you could have a tape splicer which where you use like adhesive tape. But this is a cement splicer and I've got it in the cupboard there. So I'm keeping that. It's a bit of a memento to my uh, Super 8 days. Good days. Um, you couldn't, you can't beat, you know, you can put a fucking DVD in or a vid well video they don't do that now but or on a computer and watch a film that's, you can't beat well in them days you know setting up the projector putting the screen up you know you have a, if you had a proper screen you could just have a blanket this fucking line and some clothes pegs it would do you'd, you'd, you know you'd make do and then you'd load the fucking film up and all that and you darken, you know, pull the curtains, darken, and you did 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 in the fucking projector. You used to make a racket and all that. Nice to have like an extension speaker. I was technical. Um, it, one of my projectors, um, UMIG, um, I used to have a socket, just plug it in, and I used to wire it with fucking tape, cellar tape. I joined it to a, a stereo speaker, well, one speaker, and I had that by the screen so it was, it was like the sound was coming from the screen so it's like oh it's like a fucking cinema it's brilliant <laughs> but um there's lots to be said for it i miss you know the them days and all that stuff i have talked about in the past we used to go with simon um from, uh, well bms uh, fucking all those are the days um <laughs> you know, don't get me started on them Let's go to the Derbyshire Miners, which is not there now, it's all demolished. It's like a big holiday camp. And we were showing, I always remember it, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. <laughs> the fucking... I, I won't go into it, I've talked about this before, where I was 222 in it, we call it, where you clean... That's another thing I've got, is a tin of 222, I tell a lie. I've got my splicer and a tin of 222, which is just stuff they used to put on a cloth to clean... The um, the film and it was 16 mil film that was, and I was cleaning it. And that, that, he says, "Quick, the fucking reel's running out." And I was on the second reel, so I speeded up. And I was like, "And the fucking film snapped." And <laughs> so, so Simon was trying to splice it together to join it together, and then the film ran out on the projector, and I didn't know how to switch it off. I wasn't familiar with that projector. And everyone was turning around that because it was a big white screen then. You know, the film had fucking ran out. And them lamps are powerful. So what I did was I just put my hand in front of the, you know, like that, in front of the fucking 
the lamp, you know, the lens, like, and I burnt my hand because <laughs> that's that powerful. I was ah! anyway. It was all oh, it's all good fun. Happy days, I tell you, happy days, and that was in real. And the Astra, the Astra Cinema, just as you're coming over Vale Road Bridge, you used to have the Astra Cinema on the right. There'd be three screens in that. And we mixed up the the film. There was a cartoon or something playing and a sex film. And we were rushing around, because I used to help Simon out. And we, uh, we mixed the tape, the second tape for the cartoon, we put the sex film on. And <laughs> the second reel of the car of the sex film was the cartoon. So we had people there all with their kids, you know, and the, you get the Q mark, ding, ding, counting three to one, then you change projectors. And then people that were all sitting there with their kids watching a cartoon, a fucking sex film came on. <laughs> and the people that were watching the sex film, a fucking cartoon came on. So I don't know, a, I can't remember what happened after that. It was a hell of a blocking row, I tell you. But uh, you used to have two projectors and you have Q marks, and I've explained what a Q mark is. If you look at the old films, top right corner, you'll see a ring or a dot will appear. Three, two, one. And that's it's Q mark, it's called they're called projectionists, Q marks. And that's when you change um, projectors. When you see the first Q mark, you switch the second projector on. And you wait then, you see, wait for the second Q mark on the first projector. When you see that, you switch the first projector off, then the second projector will start playing. That's why whenever you see these old films, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and there is never a 2, 1. It's always a blank, it's always black. And that's why, because the second projector, when it counts down, when you see three in the gate, you stop it, then you wait then, wait for the first projector to show the first Q mark, then you switch the second projector on, because it's a black, it won't show over the first projector. You still with me? <laughs> and then you wait for the Q mark on the first projector, the second Q mark, switch the first projector off, then the second projector will kick in. And hopefully you get a streamlined film with you might get a bit of a cut if you cock it up a bit. But that's that's Q marks. If you ever watch these old films, you still see them on the telly today. You'll see a, a Q mark. They're all on the old films and this and that. Either a dot or a ring or something will appear in the corner. If you ever watch, you wait, you count down and you'll see a second one. And then you'll see a scene change. So anyway, I don't know how long this is going on for, but Time for a refill. So yeah, happy days. Good days, you'll super eight days. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.